So here I am sitting in our condo in Spanish Fork, reflecting on the first week really of our trip to commence flight training in an autogyro, which is an unbelievable thought to begin with for, for me. And it's been a long, long journey getting here, getting to here, literally by car, 1,700 kilometers, and um, all the fingerprinting that we've done and all of the points that we had to do to, to get to this stage. And then all of a sudden, there's the, the Cavalon, the, the aircraft that we're learning to fly. And here we go, you do your pre-routine and, and you become, you're trying to become a pilot. And that's, that's been an amazing experience. One of the big milestones that were really, that are going to be part of my life story is your first logbook entry. So I have my first logbook entry making 0.4 hours in a gyrocopter, gyroplane. And it's a big step, it's a massive step for me. And I'm very proud of myself. And um, then our second lesson that I did was for a little bit more. And uh, so we take off in, in our gyroplane. And so that is very cool. And then Brendan, our flight instructor, he says, okay, well you got the stick, you're in control. But the first week has been a great experience. So yesterday, actually, Saturday, I took my first flight in the Cavalon Auto Gyro. And it was a fantastic experience, and partly because it wasn't smooth. It was actually quite windy. We're in the mountains in Utah anyway. And it was a very convective day. It was actually the type of day when I wouldn't fly a paraglider. It, was, it would have been too rough and the wind was too strong. So it was going to be cool to see how the Cavalon would handle the, the buoyant air and the turbulent air. And I must say it was fantastic. I felt very comfortable from the very beginning uh, in flight. And so the instructor, Brandon, let me take the controls quickly as soon as we we're off the ground. Here's the controls. Let's climb out at this speed and, and we'll go and do some maneuvers. And we kind of left the airport vicinity and started to learn to fly the gyro in a straight line, but in strong wind, which is not as easy as it sounds actually. So yeah, some of you guys have probably flown aircraft, you'll pick a road and you'll try and fly it along the road. Well, the cool thing is you can't point the aircraft along the road because the wind's blowing you somewhere. So you kind of crab the aircraft sideways a little bit and find that angle where you can fly and track along the road. And it's kind of cool to be able to do that. And while we're doing that, we climb a little bit and then we descend a little bit and then we start doing some turns and you're always looking for traffic and, and you're really starting to learn about multitasking in the cockpit of an aircraft. So we're scanning the gauges, we're checking our altitude, we're checking our vertical ascent or descent, we're looking for traffic and it's, the, it's a constant process and it really is probably for most people at the beginning it's a it's a process of overload. It's one little entry into my logbook and it's it's actually a big milestone. But so today, you know, what would probably be written in my book as a result is dreams do come true.